honestly, like this is the definition of our times? relationship. Every How time times? my emotions <laughs> just want to get the better of me, this guy will not let me live. It, so why are you making me do this? Yeah, yeah. If you love me, you wouldn't let me suffer like this. I don't let shines away, even on the smallest scale. <laughs> don't let no, your I spouse didn't. go out there like a fool yeah. saying things that are not well thought uh -huh. out. And I'd actually be really ashamed if someone's revealing something externally that you haven't revealed because he sees me more than anything. It's a feeling. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back. We're back with another video and in this video we're talking about why we challenge one another in this marriage. We want to grow, we want to be better and it's important to be challenged in our relationship. We don't believe, you know, peace for the sake of just peace sake yeah. and not bringing things to the surface. Mm. We bring things up because we want each other to grow in our relationship. Yeah, we've been together 10 years now mm. and honestly, we're always arguing, always debating, it's not always arguing. troubleshooting. We're bringing things to the surface yeah. so that you can grow. Oh yeah, sure. And he needs For the growth as well. Of our so we just basically make sure that we always discuss things because we believe that two is better than one, mm. but you have to let the person intervene in your plans in order for that two to be better than the one he's not just here to make me a happy wife happy life mm -hmm. mentality where he says yes to everything because then what's the point of him in this exactly. relationship so in this video we really want to talk about how we challenge one another for the betterment of our relationship yeah. and why it's so important let's that you go. do that in your relationship let's too. get into it let's do this you should challenge your partner too Hold them accountable to their goals. So yes. important. We all know life is hard. Mm. There's certain emotions that may occur, certain fears, certain circumstances, which may lead you to make suboptimal decisions for yourself. You're basically sabotaging yourself. Yeah. So ultimately, we need someone in our corner to kind of push us to achieve the things that we desire for ourselves. Honestly, like this is the definition of our times? relationship. Every time times? my emotions just want to get the better of me, this guy will not let me live in that moment. I've wanted to make so many serious decisions. For example, like what? quit my career mm -hmm. because of a bad employer, for example, mm -hmm. and change direction completely. Mm -hmm. This guy would not let me do that, regardless of how I was feeling. Yes, he was empathetic in the moment, but he still would not agree to a different decision. I was like, look, this is what I want to do with my life now. This is the direction I want to go in. He's like, mm, no, I don't think that's the best decision to make. I don't think you should make decisions while you're at your worst. I think you should keep going, press forward. That's and I was fun. so frustrated in the moment mm. but actually now I look back I'm like thank Very you cool. for not letting me stay in that pit thank you for you know reminding me that this is what I want to be doing career wise and that's just one example we're consistent in that all the time because it's the way I see it there are your dreams mm. there is reality sometimes your reality does not match up to your dreams mm. but you are desiring something and when you're going through the process it is very difficult and the things that we used to talk and dream about in the early days of university i wasn't going to let you give that all up yeah. i wanted you to press on push forward so unfortunately i had to hold your feet to the fire yeah. so that you will keep going and now, it was so frustrating in the moment like there'd be moments this was of, a bone of contention yeah, relationship for a long for time for years because there'd be resentment that mm. would manifest itself. So why are you making me was, do this? Yeah, yeah. If you love me, you wouldn't let me suffer mm -hmm, like this. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. the thing is, when it comes to love, sometimes it's not just I'll let you pandering. do the pandering or I'll let you do the easy thing. Sometimes yeah. love is like I'm hold trying to hold your future up in front of you mm -hmm. and allowing you just to go through it. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. And and to be honest, I do the same for Gabe. Yeah, hundred percent. Anytime he's fear is holding him back yeah. he wants to stay comfortable he's like oh i'll stay in this job for 10 20 30 40 years mm -hmm. even though it's not benefiting me anymore or i'll hide and i won't do that presentation because you know i might not be confident enough to yeah position myself my thing is i have the dream yep but then i'm like mm, maybe we'll the just... actions yeah, yeah i yeah. will help you with the actions and the thing 100%. is we've both given us each other permission to be able to act this way in the relationship yeah. and i think that's the first thing that couples need to do actually have the conversation and be like look I might not necessarily agree with you and I'm going to say some challenging things but overall because I love you because I know where you're trying to get to so, and I want to help you get there yeah and I want to help you get there so challenge one another so that you can keep them accountable to their goals you should also challenge your partner to reveal their blind spots this yeah, one is definitely. big this is one of the great benefits of being in a relationship the fact that someone can challenge you with your blind spots 
don't want to be going to a different environment and certain circumstances keep reoccurring yeah. and you're just unaware of what's going on. Maybe you, that person has bad characteristics mm. that lead them astray. I think that's so embarrassing. Mm. Like I'm living with you, mm. but I'm stepping out into these different environments and other people are noticing traits that I have and it's impacting my prospects or just, you know, my ability to make friends. But at home, my husband is not even telling me that there's an issue there. Yeah, I okay. think that is all. Anna like... never shies away, even on the smallest scale. <laughs> I remember when we first got into our relationship, yeah. we'll go to family gatherings. As I do, as my introverted self, I'll go... I'll pull up a chair and I'll sit there. Straight to the corner. I'll just sit there nicely. <laughs> Anna, Not even smiling. I was smiling inside. <laughs> but Anna would then pull me aside and say, Gabe, so like, you've come into my family's house so many mm. times and you do the same thing over and over again. Mm. People may or may not be saying that. What's wrong with Gabe's? Is he being rude? Mm. Have we offended him? Yeah. Why doesn't he eat? Yeah. You need to make a little bit more effort yeah. because it's starting to be noticed that you're kind of anti yeah. just in the corner over there. So can you make more and effort? And you now 10 years on, laugh at the party <laughs> with my family. But no, honestly, that's the benefits of being together a long time and checking mm. each other right from the beginning because you get the fruit of refining who you are and then over a longer period of time it's like wow this is a completely different person in a positive way and yeah. that's the type of outcome that i want through being in a relationship with games like if i've got pride if i've got all of these things check it from early so that i don't go outside and make a fool of myself yeah. so that i'm not embarrassed when i get to the gates of heaven and god's like but you did even, not enter but even before you get to the gates yeah. there are just certain circumstances mm. that your spouse could be going through yeah. with maybe just having a sense of pride. They're going mm. to an organization, their pride is coming out yeah. and then they're losing jobs or yeah. being made redundant. They're going to a certain friendship group and that pride again comes out. They're mm. losing friendship. They keep going around to different environments, certain circumstances happen and they're wondering why is this all this happening? Yeah. You need to let them know that, hey, you've got a sense of pride yeah. and you're the common denominator in all these different environments yeah. and you need to basically work on that to actually enhance your prospects of your job, your relationship, etc. Yeah, we take pride that this is a safe environment, our home, for our so you, I negative just said, I just been talking about pride and you're the first no. word that we take pride. <laughs> pride so, in the other sense okay. that we actually have each other mm -hmm. to be able to check each other first in the quiet place in secret before yeah. it gets revealed externally and yeah, i'd okay. actually be really ashamed if someone's revealing something externally that you haven't revealed because he sees me more than anything so i think we should all like see it as a real blessing to have a partner that actually checks us behind closed doors yeah and challenge us to be better yeah. because you don't want to be walking around with blind spots mm. like anna as someone who I'm really connected with as my wife, should be able to help me reveal my blind spots yeah. so I can work on them, so I can be a well-rounded rounded person. person. Exactly. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. You should also challenge your partner to refine their ideas. Mm. We love this one. We love a little brainstorming session. Yeah, definitely. It's so good. We love just communicating in general. Mm. That's something I'm very happy about in our relationship. Mm. We're best friends. Yeah. We talk about a lot of things and we talk about our ideas. Yeah. And one of the things I love and sometimes it's very challenging in the moment though, I'm not going to lie, is that when an idea comes to mind and I present it to Anna, yeah. we go through a brainstorming, refining process. Mm. So we ask questions. We just What's challenge that? the thing. Why would this work? What's the use case? What's the purpose? What are you trying to achieve? Is what you're trying to achieve aligning up to what you're actually saying? Mm. I don't get it. Can you explain it some more? Yeah. There's a lot of going backwards or forwards, backwards or forwards. Now, although it's quite frustrating long. and long in the moment, yeah. it allows you to really challenge yourself and ask yourself these questions mm. so that you can refine the thought process. So when you go out into work yeah. then you could be in a position where it's well thought out yeah 100 percent. i mean like we know everything about each other when it comes to our careers i could literally bring gabe's a proposal and he'd know the context around it because we've discussed it at home mm. and i see that as a real superpower i mm. feel like it's such a benefit you know what's the point of having a human in your house if actually you <laughs> can't human. you know benefit from the way that they think what they bring to the table before you then obviously when you go out you're going to get criticized anyway there's going to be mm -hmm. challenges coming but why not get to a place you could where you probably get through 60 yeah. 70 percent of the initial criticism that you'll get outside within your house in your house yeah. and it's like that's what we utilize each other for it's such a benefit in our relationship and i think 
people need to do more of that in their relationship. Mm-hmm. Some couples actually don't have any idea what their partner does day to day. They don't know anything about their career yeah. or anything about their business ventures. They're just going out ventures. creating some useless t-shirt business <laughs> when their spouse could be like, no one no, needs any more t-shirts, work. it's not going to work. Yeah, and I find it hard to support something that I don't necessarily believe in. Mm. So I want to be a supportive partner. So actually get me involved early. Get me involved in that ideation stage so that I can help refine it. So that when you do take it out, it's like, yep, I'm behind this idea yeah. i can encourage you when times get hard i can do all of that because i was there from the beginning and actually if it's something that i don't support and you've had the conversation at home but then you still take it out that's all on you no i'm joking yeah. i still support <laughs> but i mean we obviously yeah. have that openness but I, 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 I do find that when we start doing things mm. the things that are more successful is the one where we yeah. both had a buy-in yeah. on the thing yeah. so that we'll both be able to challenge mm. work together to make sure is it comes into fruition yeah so. yeah and the thing is we have different strengths so it's actually really beneficial within the household but then also even if it's something that i have no idea about because i can imagine a lot of couples are in that situation i seek to learn and seek to understand as much as i can so that i can bring something to the table or i'll ask specific questions to help you refine it yeah. but either way there's a bit of a contribution so that we can realize that you know if it goes well it's beneficial for both of us if you're happier and successful then we, we both are so it's just so good to yeah. have the household where you challenge each other. Yeah, definitely. Don't let no your spouse ideas. go out there like a fool yeah. doing things that are not well thought uh-huh. out. It's a you should also challenge your partner to help them understand how they've hurt you. This yeah. is this is so good. When there's conflict in a relationship, mm. there's always one person in a relationship that wants to shut down. I'm the shutdown. Mm. I like to just take it within myself. I just Silence. Go with Jesus. I just go base. I was a stonewall. Yeah. I just go silent, and I'm just processing things in yeah, my head. Totally. And even sometimes, like it may seem insignificant, I can brush it off. But you know, when you start brushing things underneath the carpet, mm. there's a lump that starts forming, yeah. and then you can just basically lash out. So I have learned over time mm. that when conflict does arise. I need to not just shut down. I need to be able to bring that mm. to the surface, mm. communicate to Anna, let her know. Because sometimes, and in most cases, probably 99% of the time, Anna may do something and she's not aware of the effect that it's had on me. Yeah. And if I'm not communicating, I'm not giving her an opportunity to be able to correct herself, to mm. apologise or whatever. Yeah. So it's good to actually bring things to the surface. Yeah, and even in disagreements, like we challenge each other. Like he challenges what I did that caused him to react in the way that he did. Mm. Or he challenges me on something that has had a negative impact on him Mm. and his joy and his ability to be himself. But it's really important that when we have disagreements, it's not just a case of, okay, let's just move on. Mm. Let's actually challenge each other. And actually, I may defend myself and then he may have to defend himself. And then, you know, it's just a a constant dialogue. I think we've learned very early in marriage prep just mm. to be able to how to have good conversations and how to conflict with each other well. Yes. And we give ourselves space mm. to be able to communicate. That's when we're on a semi-good day. Sometimes yeah. there's a little bit of shouting. Now, you <laughs> think that when we get level-headed mm. over time, then we just allow each other to express ourselves because I actually want to understand yeah. why I offended you. Yeah. And I'm trying to understand why you did certain things, mm. blah, blah, blah. Mm. So Yeah, so even when he's bringing something up and I want to be like, yeah, okay, fine. Um, you're right let's move on it's like no you don't truly believe that let's have the conversation let's go there and he'll challenge my oh yeah yeah it's fine because it's not just for the sake of you know peace in that current moment it's actually long term are we actually getting to the root of the issue Mm -hmm. and I feel like over the last 10 years we've been able to just go from strength to strength because we don't shy away from those arguments like we will go through it and sometimes it's days of us just you know trying to work through it and then we get to the bottom of it and it's like okay fine and that situation rarely happens again and I think that's because we just don't shy away and we really do challenge each other even in arguments and lastly you should challenge your partner challenges no no i'm good i, I think i think okay, I'm so lastly surprised. lastly guys you should challenge your partner mm-hmm. in order for yourself mm-hmm. not to have resentment towards them yes that's it that's, that's it, it. because you. the thing is when we don't challenge when something happens and we don't challenge our partner and we feel like something's been done against us resentment starts to build up mm. it might be small things but as it's as it's compounded mm. 
you actually might feel a real sense of resentment that may make you do a radical decision like just walk out. Yeah. So in order for things not to really go unchecked, linked to the previous point, yeah. I know and I like to unpack, we like to talk things through, in order for us just not to have a heavy heart towards our partner mm. and not have any resentment. Yeah. One thing about us is we want to know exactly how the other person feels. Mm. Regardless of how much it's going to hurt in the moment, we want to know the truth. And sometimes games has pushed me to the point where I've said, look, I really do not like you right now. Like, I don't know you how... You stronger when... words than yeah. that. Yeah, what? Have I said I hate you? You said that multiple times, but you're just... You're just, you're just <laughs> I can't remember. You're just, you're just flamboyant to your remember. words. So. No, but in the moment, I'm just so frustrated that I'm like... I really hate you. Like, how did I marry such a guy? Mm. And I'm literally shaking, aren't I? Like, oh, you're so annoyed. You're just and, <laughs> no, but that's generally how I feel in that moment. But we do not shy away from that because we've made the commitment. We're staying together until death do us part. So let's. And we're really trying to, to enjoy. The, we're trying to enjoy, enjoy our, journey. our journey and yeah. enjoy our marriage and, and not to, have heavy hearts yeah. towards one another. And in order to enjoy it, that heaviness of heart that I have in that moment, or he has in that moment. We're going to bring that to the surface. And we and the other person has to be mature enough to realise that, actually, I know my partner feels like this at the moment, but this is not their constant feeling. Yeah. This is just off the back of a situation or something that's triggered that based on what I've done or, you know, you know anything. But we go there. We really go there because there's no way that that resentment that we have in our hearts is going to last longer than a week, longer yeah, than yeah. a month, longer exactly. than years because we want to deal with everything. Yeah. But if you don't, check it early yeah. it could go for weeks yep. months years because it's just something that could be festering mm-hmm. that just blows up so we want to deal with it early yeah. which is why we like to talk about things yeah so guys that's it that's now we've come to the end mm-hmm. so the first three reasons is actually linked to your partner yeah the last two reasons are linked to yourself and the benefits of challenging your partner so that you can actually have an open heart towards them yeah. so yeah we really believe that conflict, challenging is good challenging is good conflict is good sometimes yep. but we have to be able to do it well mm-hmm. so that we can successful in our yeah, relationship we don't believe in the line happy wife happy life because in the moment there's not even an equivalent for husbands yeah there's not even one that's firstly <laughs> secondly it's like just because you're happy in the moment it doesn't mean that you're going to be happy over the long term and we're all about you know you might be unhappy in a moment but happier over a long period of time because you've challenged one another two is better than one but some relationships two is not better than one because you're not doing anything with it you have you're to not be able to grow i think the main thing about relationships and why sometimes people feel like what's the point mm. it's like you don't see the tangible benefits of your spouse yeah. and in order to like you're growing you're not getting better like i can really see that anna has made me a much better person and if i was to lose her i've lost the best it's better chat gpt like the best person to help me grow as an individual so i can't lose her i can't mess up i have to make sure i stay on the straight and narrow in order for myself to flourish it's not even about our relationship it's yeah about me. it's about himself <laughs> no but like, maybe men like that kind of thing where it's like oh yeah my girl she's actually my helpmate she's actually helping me get somewhere but i hope you enjoyed this video day and we'll see you in the next one bye Peace.